Talking about individual responsibilities, I want to go back to what the Prime Minister said, look at it in a macro, uh, uh, from a macro picture. He uh, basically saying that the domestic industry needs to enhance its risk-taking appetite. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the Prime Minister seems to be saying that the government has done its bit, right? Whether it's cut taxes for corporate, sorted out Vodafone, foreign investment is pouring in. It is now time for the industry to do its bit. So then the question would be to the CII, why is business sentiment so depressed then, despite all this, everything that the government claims that it has done for industry? So, Sarah, I think the last National Council we had when we did the survey, we found that a significant part of the industry is positive about the future. And I think uh, most of the industry was expecting growth to come back to 9, 9.5%, which is what CII said. But, you know, we must keep in mind that 9.5% only takes us to where we were two years back. You know, it looks good, but against a lower base of last year. So I think uh, uh, government is right in saying that they have done a lot of work. They've done a lot of the heavy lifting. Uh, a lot of the investments that have been made in the last few years has been by the government, either public sector or in infrastructure. Uh, but, you know, private sector investment comes back when there's demand growth and profitability. Uh, a lot of private sector balance sheets were highly leveraged. But all that is changing. So you're seeing deleveraging happening. You're seeing balance sheets getting healthier, demand coming back in many sectors, and profitability improving. So I think we have the ingredients uh, for investments, which have been announced, like I said, by some sectors. Uh, the rest of them hopefully will follow once the GDP growth comes back to the 9, 9.5% that we're expecting. Like I said, it will not be everyone being positive at the same time, but certainly some sectors are positive. Also, we're hoping that we'll have a good, Another good year for agriculture. Last year was good. This year also, if the monsoons are good and uh, the rural economy bounces back well, I think that's again positive because last year the recovery was led by the rural economy. And if that happens again this year, we have a strong couple of quarters ahead of us. Hmm. Okay. So then, but Mr. Bajaj, the Prime Minister basically saying we are behind you. Him saying that the, the government is standing by industry. He said that at today's uh, CII meeting. Um, he's asking, we're ready to solve the challenges of our industry. He said, and I'm quoting here, I have and I'm always ready to solve the challenges of the industry. I will be open to your suggestion. So then, what do you want this government to do for industry? Very clearly, as the Prime Minister has said, uh, uh, recognizing the support of the industry through the pandemic and uh, the, the change in reforms that have taken place, removing some of the retrospective, the tax amendments, decriminalizing uh, a number of laws in the Companies Act. So what he's saying is that we are laying the foundation for the private sector to play a very important part of our economic growth in the future. And uh, and all I can say is that uh, other than a few sectors, which we know are the obvious sectors, uh, the high touch sectors that have got hurt badly, if we see a milder third wave, you will see private sector coming back. You will see demand coming back steadily. As I said, we've already seen uh, that positively in the last six weeks. And uh, that will follow with investment. Okay, so it's just a matter of time you're saying if we can prevent this third wave before the pandemic recedes, demand and investment will then revive and the economy will come back. But is there anything, nothing else that you would like, uh, Mr. Narendran, the industry would like from this government? Uh, you know, uh, the industry keeps uh, telling the government that we need to keep working on the cost of doing business and the ease of doing business. And I think that uh, request or demand will continue. The government has obviously done a lot of work uh, in these areas. The other thing which the government is conscious of and is addressing is policy stability so that investors uh, have some, uh, you know, uh, have some comfort that policies uh, will not change in a manner detrimental to their investments. Mm. And I think that's important, uh, particularly when you look at foreign investors uh, looking at India as a destination to invest in, given that People are looking to de-risk supply chains and have more options than one or two. So I think uh, these requests will go on and support for uh, aviation, hospitality, tourism, those kind of sectors. Mm. Also continued support for MSMEs. I think the government has again made some announcements last week or which will help the MSME sector because that's going to be the backbone of the economy going forward. 40% of the GDP will come from the MSME sector. Mm. So I think MSME sector, high contact sectors, please continue to support and overall for industry continue to keep improving the ease of doing business and the cost of doing mm. business. So